What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Universe Sim Season 5. Now we did obviously at the end of last episode complete the game in theory or at least the storyline. Coming straight into a battle, these are the last exiles on our main planet. We do have some new ones on the moon. So just sent in the usual, I think it's 40 total. Uh, yeah, 40 total of our uh, nuggets. That first 10 there getting used up. They're coming at weird times, it's... it's I mean, if I put all of them together, I'll probably do that in the future. They will attack together, but never mind. This time there was, I think, 20 turned up at once, and you can see they're very much, very easily overwhelming the enemy there with whatever guns they are using. Not sure. There is a laser blast attack there as well in the research. It's like one of the last or the second to last thing you research. Anyway. That's a win for us. We're going to take down the buildings now. You don't need to see that. We've done it many times before, so let's get on with something a bit more exciting. And obviously with that clear and the exiles gone, I have disconnected all of the, or undone all of the nuggets that were military inf infantry and, of course, removed or destroyed all four of the barracks to get the space back and the resources. Now, this one I can open. It says you can hear a desperate sigh, so that should mean there is indeed a nugget in there. That one's not complete. This one is not complete. I'm just listening out for the hot to touch, which is the explosion, and the anything to do with green slime or ooze or whatever it says for the poison. And we have unlocked the Notre Dame building with that, so I'll get that in where I can. Normally I put them all together, but it don't hurt to just chuck them wherever, right? Whizzing over to the moon because I was being told that it was lacking water. Again, it was wrong. But I am going to put some of these down just in case it's a sort of distance issue. They can't get water because they don't have... They, they run out or they die of thirst before they actually get to the one that was built on the moon the exiles are building over there i'm going to leave them alone we do have of course a terraformer and he's educated nuggets but there there wasn't working there because i hadn't got the governor set up because it was frozen but with that undone now we seem good to go and that's going to get this converted now it is an achievement to terraform the moon i thought it was some last one but i am actually incorrect i also need to do a lava planet we'll get to that later on in the episode um, so yeah, we've got to terraform the moon and terraform a lava planet or volcano planet, hot planet, whatever you want to call it. The only one we haven't done on this on the uh, channel yet. Poison and a few of the others. I'm not sure how many other ones there are. We've had a dinosaur planets, we've had rock planets, poison, ice, uh, lava. Not sure how many more there is, but we might. We may see it. There's certainly going to be another episode's worth anyway for this series because I want to make sure all of them things that I've said are done, i.e. the achievements. Uh, just explore a bit further out if we can and destroy some planets, of course. To get the uh, planet cracker, though, I need to build the base. I thought I'd done it on the home planet, on Nugetta, as it's called. Uh, so when I go to look for it a bit later on, I realise it's not there. So either I did do it and something happened and it got destroyed, or I just didn't do it and I'm an idiot. I'm not sure which one it is, but won't matter. The outcome's the same. A few issues on the moon, actually, for the poison. When we came in, you noticed it was a poisonous lake. That's because of the buildings we've got causing negative CO2. So I have put down the air filter, which is minus three on its own, which is a huge uh, amount, to be honest. And a few... Uh, of the windmills just to help with a bit of power and a couple of parks as well to make sure that we stay happy comfortable and clean we also need to get more fuel onto the moon i think i've already done it though and it is it is travel no i'm wrong we're doing it now okay there we go now fuel is difficult to get a hold of or keep because we are using it everywhere uh, in between, you won't see it, but in between any of the cuts that I'm doing, while we're on the home planet, I did in fact build two more fuel refineries and one more chemical refinery for that purpose, just to make sure that we have it. The fuel is made with uh, gas and 
oil and we have lots and lots of that and lots and lots of deserts that we've just built on as well so i'm not too worried about running out of resources this should last for the season series anyway whizzing over to the rock planet and this one similar to the moon actually bit of poison because of the buildings and we've got no uh, co2 negative buildings in play it's all positive adding more co2 to the environment which is bad um the rock planet got used to it by now it's very gray even the trees are gray right i mean the the, the leaves are made of stone so but you can see there it was plus 1.1 i think that said a bit quick but nothing we can't fix with a park at least one park or even the airfield will easily do that because i say that's three minus three so easy math that observatory is useless as well i don't know why it's still there it's not turned on but the resources within it need to be resolved and then of course make sure to always have at the very least one school university on each planet because although they may be educated when they land their babies and everything after that will not be the only way you won't need a university or a school is if you're using your nuggetoids Now on the ice planet, this planet was, well, the only reason we came here was for the part to finish off the planet cracker. Uh, I, I mean, I could just pack up and leave if I wanted. Uh, there's no real reason to stay there, but the challenge is just to get it made safe, just to terraform it, really. No other purpose than it's just a goal to do while I'm waiting for other things to happen. Um, but if it becomes problematic with running multiple places, I can can this one. I'll just get all of the nuggets off it and send them either home or to another planet. Either or. I can leave the buildings there. It's not the end of the world. Uh, even downsizing them and then, of course, sending the resources elsewhere. There's not enough to bother with. Got a satellite there to explore, so I'll get that done. And as soon as that's done, this observatory will be turned off and deconstructed because there's no further use for it then. Okay, so now we've established, or at least I've established, that the builder bots are irrelevant of what you actually build and convert. It's not the building that you want that you convert. Any building can be converted into, well, any of the buildings that can be converted into a builder bot can be used for any other building. So what's actually important is what resources it uses to make the first building and then the resources you require to actually convert it to a builder bot. The cheapest I've found so far at the stage that I'm at are the fire stations simply because the rest of the buildings like that have already been upgraded to space age and require plastic and a few other things. The, the um, fire station being one of the last things to upgrade still requires concrete and planks as opposed to plastic and chips so it's just a cheaper option i would suggest that you do do it your way when you come to that uh, it may or may not be the same as me but certainly where i am the fire station scenes you can see there it uses iron glass concrete and planks which is a lot cheaper than steel circuits and plastic uh, when they're done i will then need space age stuff including quite a lot of chemicals to turn them into builder bots and i'd like to do sort of seven or eight to start a planet almost immediately and by immediately i mean every building will be done with a builder bot and then we're already set up nobody has to do any building no uh, of the nuggets needs to do any work and it actually turns out to be very useful because again it turns out that nuggets can't survive on the lava planet that's a little bit of a spoiler we'll get there soon Whereas on the cold planet, they freeze and you can use the fire spell to unfreeze them. On the fire planet, they just burn to death. Very, very quickly. Just looking at the last little bit of research now. You can see it there on the screen. It's just this top corner and four of the Discovery Point ones as well. Still pushing 1,750 Discovery Points. So again, as I said for a while ago, actually, it's going to be easy peasy to get them unlocked. Uh, and we're going to have 1,500, in between 1,500 and 2,000 discovery points spare. I use 50 uh, in the observatories to instantly unlock the search ability, but that's it. 
So we're going to have a lot of discovery points forever in this series. There's just nothing else to use them for. So where we are, it's a bit of odd. Way, it's an odd way of doing it. You can't just build builder bots without building the building first and then ripping the building down. But you can see there five oil, uh, ten chips, and ten chemicals, and that makes the building turn into a builder bot. There is nine there. I mean, there's ten, but one of the fire stations is actually a valid one that needs to be there. So there's nine, uh, and I'd like to send. Well, I actually send seven because eight is too many for the shuttle and obviously you can't send anything up for follow-up so we'll send seven we're making nine that leaves us two spare to send at a later date but for every one of those fire stations we rip down into a builder bot can be any building on the planet and that includes terraformers which are a lot more expensive to build other ways so builder bots are definitely the way to go and with all of them builder bots confirmed you can see we did have nine there i'm sending eight because i need to send a lot of food as well at this point i didn't realize that the nuggets are useless so actually you don't need to send food because don't send nuggets they just die you need to do this with the nuggetoids unless there is something that i'm missing and if somebody knows the answer to that they can certainly let us know but for now i don't think it's possible to colonize with just nuggets on the fire planet With that said, it took a while. Actually, it got stuck on the food. I needed uh, 10 food, but spoiler alert, you can actually chuck the stuff in there yourself, including the nuggets. But all I did was I grabbed a whale from the ocean and chucked it in the Cosmodrone. That counted as the missing 10 food, and the ship was ready to fire. So here we go. We are going to send it there to the left. No information on that, but that is indeed a lava planet, and that was chosen simply because it is the planet that I want to colonize for the achievement. Uh, the first planet I will destroy using the planet Cracker will likely be Andromeda again, the one below our starter planet. But I may leave it alone just because I don't think I've colonized it, and it is the first quote-unquote planet uh, that you see in space and there you could just see two of the builder bots or at least one of them but there is two spare because I've only sent seven of the nine we have made okay welcome to what looks like the, the most terrifying planet we've seen so far that is a lot of volcanoes and that is a lot of lava the lava works differently or at least the water the, the whole process works differently on the hot planet so you have a water source there you could see to the right there that's 65,000 liters of water it holds but it currently has 65,000 liters of lava you have to get rid of all the lava and then you're able to fill it up with water now you can use rain as you can see I'm using it there you can't tell but if I chuck down a lot more of them raining into the lava will get rid of the will get rid of it for you um, but it's not very efficient and to be honest I don't think it's going to work just with the creator points if you've got the infinite creator points and you can do it but if you're not using that cheat or god mode whatever it is creative mode uh, I don't think it's going to be worth it so just wait you can rain into your water towers and give them the water that way but again we don't actually need water per se because well, the, the, the nuggets don't, because you'll see very shortly that they don't last very long. So we started with 15. One's already died. We have seven robots, and I'm just going to... And they're builder bots, sorry. And I'm just going to set them up and then let them go in one. Okay, so I've set them all off. Now, a couple I did screw up, I think. But I can't remember which way around it was. So there we go. We've got a wind turbine, an engineer's hut, a battery, and the terraformer straight away. The other three buildings, I didn't use the correct button. And by that, I mean I didn't actually tell it to use a builder bot. Realising that the uh, nuggets are not surviving on the planet, you can see I've gone straight in and I'm sending all of my nuggetoids over, 20. And I'm sending the spare bots over as well to get two extra buildings built. A second terraformer just to speed up the process. And I can't remember what else to use the other one for. But they will be on the way and I've got to wait for them to arrive. We are down to the last two, and you can see down there that Nugget is running for his life because they are on fire, and they are dead. And that's it. Uh, zero, oh no, one Nugget, I apologise. There is one Nugget left on this planet out of the 15, 
And inevitably, that nugget is going to burn to death as well, unfortunately. I feel slightly bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. At least we know for the future, and the Nuggetoids will arrive shortly. They require no food or water, just power, and they do not care about the temperature. But there we go, this planet is now desolate. There is no Nuggets on there at all, and we have to wait for this ship to arrive. A few minutes later, and here is the pod that should have 20 Nuggetoids in it. And yes, it has. There they go, immediately kicking into action. For whatever it is that they are going to go and do. I don't actually know what that is. Uh, it looks like they're just spreading out along the roads. Technically there's nothing really for them to do. They will cut down trees as will your nuggets. But I need a warehouse to do that. And the terraformer. Now remember one of these fully upgraded nuggetoids counts as three educated nuggets. So, in the Engineer's Hall, it's overkill. I don't know why it lets you put all four in there. It seems a bit silly, but anyway. Um, so, I've knocked that down to one, because one Nuggetoid should be able to keep up with that. There is one inside the Terraformer. I'll put one inside the Engineer's Hall. And then, of course, one inside the Cemetery. And that's only because the 15 Nuggets that we started with have died and need to be cleared up so they don't make a mess. As soon as you see there, as soon as I put down that warehouse they've now gone into kill tree mode and they're going to now rip down the forest now this is actually useful i think because you can see in the back there's constantly forest fires and if there's no forest around the base it can't spread to us so i'm going to call that a win and then also with a final builder bar chuck in the second terraformer all we need now is chemicals and fuel and they'll get up and run in and we'll start trying to tame this beast of a planet just before I leave the planet, I have actually uh, put down the spaceport and another wind turbine. Then, with the res that tells me what resources I require. I've then asked it to deliver those so that they'll get built while I'm away. The idea here being is that we'll get an additional spaceport, which means we can move more stuff uh, quicker. Uh, I don't know about quicker, actually. It's the same speed, but just more of, so it's more efficient. Uh, and they're not too expensive to build. You can't do that with a builder bot. Uh, you can with the wind turbine, but I don't actually have any other builder bots left. So we've got the resources getting sent over for that. I'm doing that now, as you can see. I've done the math on that. I mean, I've, I do go a little bit over because I feel like I don't want to waste the, the full capacity of the vessels. But as long as them buildings can get built, we are good. And then we can go to another planet. Okay, so we are back home while that does its thing. Uh, and I'm looking for a landing spot or a landing terminal now for the Planet Cracker. Again, I thought I'd already done this, but clearly not. Because you can only build one and it's letting me build it. Just trying to find somewhere I can build it that is reasonably spaced out. But also it needs to be near an infrastructure of the actual nuggets so that deliveries and pickups are quite efficient. And that is where I've decided to put it. There is a lot of work to get rid of here. You can't see it because it's very snowed over. There is a few trees, but there is a lot of stone that you can't see. I didn't know until actually I started trying to clear it and realised that maybe I could have picked somewhere better. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to put some courier huts around this also. Just so that they help get the resources, whatever it may be. I haven't decided yet what I need. But uh, picked up or delivered either way. Because this holds 10,000 and you need to get that stuff moved quickly when you start using the planet cracker okay so it took a while but we've got it cleared out uh, it's taken longer than i thought so we are going to push it on to the next episode get this in and then use the planet cracker on the next episode also it is clear now it's just waiting for the resources to be delivered and then the constructors to build it uh, you can see that the courier huts are going up pretty sharpish as well so on that note, we are at time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome as always. Subscribe for more. Take care. Goodbye.